Hello everyone, it's Al Nigren, Executive Director and Curator of the New Jersey Film Festival, here to give you an overview of the upcoming New Jersey Film Festival Spring 2020 season. The New Jersey Film Festival is in its 38th year. It's a biannual festival and we're aligned with the Rutgers University calendar. We're going to be showing over 40 movies and the festival begins on Saturday, January 25th and runs on select Friday, Saturday and Sunday evenings through February 28th. There's two free screenings courtesy of the Confucius Institute at Rutgers University, two Chinese language films that'll be on February 21st and February 28th. And if you want to check out the lineup and get descriptions for all the films, you can do that by going to our website, which is njfilmfest.com. We also have a hotline phone number. That's 848-932-8482. And we usually have a message on there telling you what's playing each weekend. Here's what we're going to be showing. On Saturday, January 25th, a double bill of films about work. The first is called Textile Workers by Andrea Nappi and Juno Room. They're from Queens, New York. It's a very beautiful experimental film. And both filmmakers will be there to do a Q&A session after the movie. The feature film that evening is by Mark Street. It's called Work Songs. He lives in Brooklyn, New York. And Mark will be our first visiting filmmaker here to do an interview on EBTV. And that'll be coming up in the in next week or so. Then, on Sunday, January 26th, we'll be screening the short film by James Reese and Jay Thomas that's entitled For Hope. It's shot in Kentucky and is about an autistic young girl who's dealing with uh, uh, lots of uh, personal issues and problems within the family. Uh, we'll have James and Jay here to do a filmmaker interview, too, in a couple of weeks. And the feature film that evening is called Bleed American by Che Manchester. And it focuses on a young brother who's got to take care of the family after the mother is hospitalized. That film is also taking place in middle America. And this program is being co-sponsored by the Rutgers University American Studies Department, as well as the Rutgers University Office of Disability Services. Then on Friday, January 31st, our first pro program of shorts called Super Shorts 1. We have films by uh, Benjamin Ridgeway, Ki Ziwi, Vasilos Papinayu, Vasco Diogo, George Nicholas, Daria Kasheva, Quinturan, and Nadia Boya. Um, you can check out all the descriptions for these short films at our website. The uh, Green Dreams by Quinturan and Nadia Boya is the longest of the bunch, and they'll be there to do a Q&A, as well as director Vasilos Papinayu, his film, too, is a really beautiful experimental film. There's also a series of experimental films shown that evening. Um, check them out on our website at njfilmfest.com. Then on Saturday, February 1, we have a film that has an expletive as the, uh, as the title. It starts with an F, so you'll know what it is. This one is directed by Vern Haas. It's an absolutely hysterical short film about a female college student's sexual trials and tribulations and revelations during her first year in college. It's the perfect film for a Rutgers University student. Then we have an amazing, amazing film called A Seahorse Trainer by Ricardo Bonisoli and Babak Bina. They're from Vancouver, Canada. And this is a really amazing surrealist film. The feature film is directed by Robert Ripberger. It's called Strive. It stars Danny Glover, and it focuses on Kalani, who's a teenager living in Harlem with her older brother, and how she has to get through uh, going through the school where she's looked down upon by her classmates. A really amazing film. This program is co-sponsored by the Rutgers University Cinema Studies program. Then on Friday, February 7th, three films that are interconnected. Uh, Diwali by Etienne Labouze. Etienne will be here to do the third and final filmmaker interview that we'll be offering. It's a, a kind of film poem that he shot in India. Loi la vie, Water is Life from Standing Rock to the Swamp is an environmental documentary by Sam Vinal. He's from Los Angeles. The 12,000 by Eric Davis and Randy Watson, they're from uh, British Columbia, Canada, uh, focuses on the true story of a young woman who survived the brutal sex trafficking trade that exists on the border between Nepal and India. Uh, this program is going to feature two visiting artists 
doing a Q&A afterward and is being uh, sponsored by the Rutgers University Department of African, Middle Eastern, and Southern Asian Languages and Literatures Department. We call it AMISOL, and thank you to them for their uh, co-sponsorship. Then on Saturday, February 8th, our Super Shorts 2 program, another series of shorts. We've got a lot of really great shorts. We selected 27 films out of 611 entries from around the world. These short films feature Lab Dog by Nomi Durivu about a young boy or a young man who saves a beagle from a, a lab and uh, a really amazing and wonderful, very, very moving film. A Missing, a missing Piece by Grace Chang is another great film um, by Grace Chang, who's a very famous actress. And this one is being co-sponsored by the Rutgers University Cinema Studies Program and the Confucius Institute. We also have The Quiet Pain by Timothy Hamatuli. He's from Glen Rock, New Jersey. And A Thousand Cranes by Leonard Chan. Another Round by Brandon Regina from New York, New York. Check out the descriptions at our website at njfilmfest.com. Rounding the bend on our program, our festival, Saturday, February 15th, a really great short film called Biora, The Flamingo Dancer. It's the translation by Ruben Stein from Madrid, Spain. And then Pacrete by Alan de Burton. He's from Brazil. And his film focuses on an aging ballet dancer. It's a really, really wonderful film, very colorful, and uh, stars Marciela Carataxo, who won Best Actress Prize at the Berlin Film Festival. This one is being co-sponsored by the Rutgers University Spanish and Portuguese Department. Both films are in their original languages in Spanish and Portuguese. Sunday, February 16th, two great films that have a connection. Anne is by V.J. Renga. He's from New Hampshire. It's a musical take on the love story inspired by the Anne Frank's diary. And Tevia's Daughters by Vladimir Lert. He's from Ukraine. And his film is a retelling of um, Shalom Alehem's very famous character of Tevia the Dairyman. Most people know that story as Fiddler on the Roof. This one was set in Ukraine with actors from the region in its original language in Russian and Ukrainian. And this one is being co-sponsored by the Rutgers University Department of German, Russian, and Eastern European Languages and Literatures. That's on February 16th. I mentioned the two free screenings on the 21st and 28th. And then on the 22nd and 23rd, we do the United States Super 8 Film and Digital Video Festival, which is in its, oh gosh, I can't remember, 32nd year. It's a smaller festival within the larger one. We are promoting Super 8 films, the old amateur format, and people are still making films, uh, artistic films, on that format. And we'll be premiering those movies on the 22nd and 23rd of February. If you need further information about our program and our festival, you can do that at our website, which is njfilmfest.com, and look, look for our filmmaker interviews in the coming weeks. Have a great day.